What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a very eventful week. I decided for this week's video I'd do one of those sit down videos. So trend will be cup of tea, moody light, a little bit of flowers. Um, you know when you're having a deep talk with someone, you're in your comfy outfit. So I got my hoodie on, I got my sweats on. Mm, that's the best way. Everyone grab their cup of coffee, cup of tea, whatever. Um, I got my cup of chai tea. Um, Mm. Shout out to Mo. He got this karakchi back from Egypt and it was beautiful. So he got some more here luckily and now I'm obsessed. And I have like two every day, but let's try tea. How can you say no? Right, so I think today we are going to talk about seeing that, you know, I'm under the stress of essay writing and everything, university. Um, basically, I keep picking the tea up and not drinking anything from it, so you'll probably see that a lot. So this past week, I recovered from my illness from two weeks ago, went home, came back, got ill again, and then a couple days later twisted my ankle. So it's not been the best week for me, but I need to get back to it because I have a game, volleyball game on Wednesday, and my essay due in like just over two weeks, I think. But today we are going to talk about this whole realm of, of university, really. Basically for these videos, I'll have a couple questions written down um, of things that maybe I, I would have wanted to know. Literally just everything, talk about everything to do with the topic. Try not keep it that long, but I'll still try and answer the like main questions if you get me. First question is, what was your biggest fear about going to university? Now, because I'm used to moving around a lot, I, was more so excited. I mean, I guess my biggest fear was the whole independence thing because I've always been with my family. Um, I feel like everyone's excited to be independent, but I mean, I, I mean, I was super excited, but I already knew there were a lot of things that I didn't realize were being done for me. Like, oh shit, I need to go out and buy my groceries and groceries just for me, not for a whole family. I need to pay for my phone bills. I need to, you know, like there are a lot of things that I didn't realize were being done for me or, oh, Big fear was this whole UK life because even though I was born here, I have never lived here. I was worried I wouldn't fit in. Um, I wouldn't find my group of people, hence why I'm in Manchester because super diverse. That was definitely one of my biggest fears. I'm trying to think of like basic fears that you, people usually have and I guess it usually is the independence, being on your own, no longer with your family, um, not fitting in, your friends. Second question. Did you always plan on going to university? I did. I always knew I wanted to go to university because, I don't know, I feel like that's the next step that, that you take in your career. Obviously, depending on which one you choose, but for me, I knew I wanted to go there. I knew I wanted to push myself and go to uni. Um, that's just something that I see as part of my journey towards having a career. Um, but that was just personal preference. I mean, when I was younger, I always myself going to Oxford because that's where I was born. But at the end of the day, it's not about the label of the university, but what's actually best for your specific career that you're wanting to go down. So, you know, like Oxford's really good for, let's say, law, whereas I wanted to do physio and physio, physio wasn't an option at Oxford. So at the end of the day, like, I didn't really care. Like I wanted to go to somewhere that, that provided a really good physio degree rather than um, go somewhere that everyone knew. And where would you actually enjoy? Like um, a city or a countryside you know what I mean like those little things will honestly completely change your experience at university and um, those are things that you should consider um are you at university great question yes I am shock what's the best part about it right best part about uni I mean I really really enjoyed high school so I feel like uni is just a step up from that like um, you still have the friends like your peers you still have the teachers um, that are super fun, you still have the workload, which keep you kind of, your life structured in a way, but you have that freedom, man. The best thing about uni, I'd say, is like the little things that push me to be better. So, my friends push me to be better, they all bring like different things to the friend group, and I don't know, I feel like I learn a lot of things from them, both positive and negative. <laughs> um, love you guys. Something else is like the opportunities to give you. So I'm currently chair of volleyball and treasurer of the physio society and those things push me in different ways. So like treasurer and chair, you have completely different responsibilities. I think in uni, you're definitely forced to, I guess forced to figure out your life, man. So like if you're a disorganized person, 
Actually, I wouldn't say I'm disorganized. I just, I commit myself to a lot of things, as you can see. And I think uni teaches you to figure yourself out and pushes you in that sense. I'm mumbling so much. <laughs> I'd say that's one of the best things, is that they push you to be a better you. What's the worst thing about uni? There are times when you can feel lonely or you can feel totally overwhelmed and the support isn't as much as in school. I mean, my school, like, my school size compared to my uni size is completely different. So, um, it's not like the counselor is going to know every single person in your class um, or whatever. So I think in that sense, like it's it's that's the worst part is sometimes the support isn't there. But I think that's where, if you have your really good group of friends, or if you're keeping in contact with your family, if you're obviously abroad, if you're with them, then that's awesome. But um, if you're away from them, then I think that's where they can come into play. And yes, it's the worst thing about uni, but you can handle it because you have that that other support system. I would say, I mean, I never really fell under it, but I think there can be a ton of peer pressure, especially because there's like a drinking culture and you can definitely get peer pressured into it. Like I didn't surround myself with people who pressured me into things. So um, I personally didn't experience it, but I definitely saw it happen. I think in those cases, it, you have to be, you have to be strong and you have to think about um, your morals and what you want to do if that's what you if that's something that you want to do and you consider fun Then I say like it is your life But if it's something that you don't want to do then you just need to be strong and um, I think nowadays there actually are a lot of people who respect um, Your decision and if you don't want to drink then don't drink and they're fine with it But if there's someone who's seriously pressuring you to do something that you don't want to do then they're not the people that you should be surrounding yourself with I forgot about my tea and I just remembered because my throat's getting dry Mm. Yo, that's so good. Why am I wearing on socks? Maybe just wear the flowers because they go with the Your socks always matter, man. Oh, but I love the watermelon ones. <laughs> They're fun. Or I have these. No. I'm, I'm not going to. Do <laughs> okay, have fun. Text Thank me afterwards. You. Bye. Bye. Right, best advice for those about to go to uni. Um, I've kind of, I guess I've kind of talked about this, the peer pressure thing, be your own person. Really think about what you want to do and stick by it. I mean, it's like, it's inevitable for you to change. I know that between graduating high school and first year I changed, between first year and now I've changed. And change is such a beautiful thing to witness. I mean, you have your negative versions of change, but when you see yourself growing into the person that you want to become. It's the most beautiful, like I've seen it happen to a couple of my friends already. I'd say honestly, try new things. Um, when you go to college, when you go to uni, there are so many things you can choose from to be a part of. And first year is definitely a good year to use um, in terms of finding and exploring. Second year and forwards, it's kind of where it gets serious in terms of your degree. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid going to uni. Like if anything, you should be absolutely excited because it's the next step in your life. Friends wise, you will find your friend group. Won't necessarily be first friend group that you're in. There's no pressure on you staying in that group. Like literally just go somewhere else, talk to new people. You'll meet someone who you do truly vibe with because that that's coming from first hand experience. Now I couldn't be happier in my friend group. What are you most looking forward to after university? I'm someone who aspires quite high. I'd say and I think I, I don't think that's a bad thing I mean I usually strive for the highest right well here's a list of things that I'm thinking about that might be after you need I want to get experience obviously in hospitals and private clinics and I want to go to a first world country how they handle medical issues and kind of do like a placement as a physio in a first world country just be grateful for the resources and stuff that we have and we don't realize a lot of the other, a lot of other places in the world don't have long long term i want to have my own physio company um but i'd probably i don't know as i say like i aspire quite high and i feel like physio company won't be enough 
which you might say I'm crazy, but I just feel like a physio company is enough. So I might expand that into something else. I just feel like I'm meant to do something big. I just feel it in myself and I just don't think a physio company would be enough. Like it would be a start of something, but what have you learned so far from uni? Obviously I've learned a lot about the body, physiotherapy, um, a lot about the medical industry, occupations, which I didn't realize played a part. I think a lot of people have a misconception that physio is very much just sport related. And I think that's where they mix up physical therapists and physiotherapists. Yeah, I mean, I just, uni has taught me that there's a lot more to do with physios than I realized, but I know I have a lot more respect for qualified physios and everyone else in the MDT team. University also has taught me be yourself. I think that's the main thing I want to bring out of this video is like when you go to uni, you're usually on your own. Finding your independence, it's so important to be yourself. And because people who you end up surrounding yourself with will love you truly for you and that's where you find your happiness from. When I was younger, I for sure struggled to say no to people and I struggled with letting people down if you get me and I think at uni like when you have shit to do you have shit to do and people have to respect that and um, I don't know I just find life so much easier when I'm just being myself and not putting a persona on what do you wish you would have done differently honestly I wish I had more fun in first year because I don't know about the US but first year in the UK doesn't doesn't count like you just need to pass it doesn't count to your final grade I mean I didn't just settle for a pass but I wish I just had more fun in the first year you shouldn't feel like a bad student for going out like it's your first year you have to have fun like you shouldn't live your life i don't know in my opinion you should live you should live full stop you should live i literally did feel like a bad student if i went out be like no it doesn't mean you don't have to do well but it just means there's not this huge pressure on you doing well and you can still study but have fun study yes but also have fun find that balance that's just me are you happy I'm very happy. I'm very happy with my course. I mean, it is difficult. It's very fast paced and you learn a lot um, in a short amount of time. Like three years for a physio degree is insane. I'm in denial that at the end of next year, I'll be a qualified physio. Degree wise, very happy. Socially, very happy. I've literally found friends that I can heavily rely on and they truly take care of me and they treat me like their own. Um, which is freaking unbelievable and I feel so incredibly lucky because I know I know a lot of people do find a group of friends but a lot of people don't too or they take a long time to they love my family my family loves them and I'm really grateful because I can say that my friends are my family and that's not just my friends here like I have a couple of friends in Abu Dhabi who I would consider my family I love you guys if you're watching I'm super happy, I'm super fulfilled with my life. Obviously there are some days where I, I, I feel a bit down, but that's inevitable, like it's gonna happen. And um, I think it's important to feel those emotions. Um, like you can't be happy 24 seven. And so um, yeah, that is that for this week's video. Okay, so I zoomed it in a little bit. I mean, I feel like I like this angle more. I personally like sit down videos. That's why I kind of wanted to do it because I would watch these videos. If there's a certain topic you guys want me to talk about or if you have any questions about anything, leave them in the comments below and I'll do a video on it. I'm talking about topics that people don't talk about. Your girl likes to ramble. Mmm. Mmm. Try and alternate talky videos with more action videos because I know everyone's not into these sit down talk videos. But um, thank you for watching. As I said before, leave any comments below of anything that you wanna see me do. Shout out to everyone at university or going into university. But yeah, have a fantastic day, live your life, and I'll see you later. Bye.